my disability act and you're throwing it in the garbage. This no is my disability, that. Scooter. This is how I get around. In a world where justice is often blurred by corruption, evil cops thrive on their abuse of power, instilling fear and terror in the hearts of innocent citizens. But oftentimes, their reign of tyranny gets challenged by brave people. These cases show those exact moments. In the early morning of November 19, 2018, Brookings police unlawfully stopped a disabled 50-year-old woman named Jennifer Gaiman for riding her mobility scooter on a sidewalk without a helmet. She got chased by them when she continued to ride home. I just want to go home. It's freezing. It, it, it is cold. Yeah, why are you stopping me then? I've okay, been riding I've, this thing I'm for gonna, over I'm, two years I'm going to explain it to you in a second. We're stopping you because you're on a sidewalk with it. Yeah, you because rode through it a is crosswalk. on the sidewalk. It's, it's, it's a legal thing on the sidewalk. Look it up. It's a mobile scooter. It's a f mobile scooter. Okay, okay. It's an electronic scooter. No, yeah, it's a mobile scooter. Oh, okay, do you understand what that means? Scooter. It's my mobile scooter. It's how I get around. I don't have a car. Okay? okay? It's like I. Scooter. Yeah, it's like Iris. Is there a he goes you're on. Yelling? Yeah, because I'm getting pissed off. I'm riding on a sidewalk. Is it gas powered? No, it's not gas. Okay. I so it's electronic. Oh, I'm cold. You guys are you're, cold. You're not free to leave. Yeah, I am. No, you're no, not. You're not. Yeah, I am because you legally cannot stop me. You're lawfully detained right now. You are For literally what? on a lawful traffic For what? Do you see those red and blue lights? For what, though? Are you going to let me... him explain it? Yeah, because you don't have a reason to. You guys are legally... Uh, you're, ta you're taking my disability act and you're throwing it out in the garbage. I have this no is my disability. Done. Scooter. This is how I get around, and you know that. You've seen me many times around this town riding it. Okay. That you guys have bad laws in this town, and that people it's that have Oregon. disabilities... No, you know what? This disabilities, okay? These people ride these scooters for disability. You want them riding on the streets so they get hit by a car? Are you kidding me? I don't make the rules. Yeah, well... I'll grab some information. Do you, do you have an ID on you? I don't need to give you my ID. You do. You are lawfully detained. You've been explained that. You will provide your name oh. or identification. Fuck you guys. Is there a reason? Because I want to get home. It's cold and you guys are with me. And you guys see me riding this many times. And you know it. There's my ID. I've never seen you riding this Yes, around. you have. Can I please get my ID back now? No. You'll get it back once we're... Once we finish. You asked me to show you. These two cops were doing nothing more than pulling over disabled people when they could be actively stopping real crimes from happening. My question for you, how much you had to drink tonight? I haven't had anything to drink. Nothing to drink? Nothing to drink at all. You can tuck my breath. <sighs> no, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, give me my ID. Oh, we're not, we're not done with it. Uh, will be violation, so it'll be CB on back, it'll be traffic. We gotta find the... And then so we municipal court. Motor system scooter, here we go. Any police officer with half a brain would have let this one go. But instead, the taxpayers now have to fund years of senseless litigation. No, I just... Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead and explain it. Thank no, you. I know. I've had a citation. So here's the deal. I'm going to do Thank my job. You. No, I don't need your job. Okay. Yeah, you're I'm not doing do job. your job, though. I'm do my job. You're not going to be protecting because most of those people... So I'm trying to issue a citation right it. now. And okay, you're, you're okay breaking, come on, hurry up. Which is actually causing me to pay more attention and address hurry your, up. your aggressiveness. Which hurry is the kind of preventing me from doing my job. Yeah, just hurry so if you try to reach and grab something out of my hand again, you're going to go to jail tonight. Hurry the Great fuck up! Officer. You understand that? Hurry the fuck up! Okay. That was your warning. Your court date is going to be at the bottom here. It apparently didn't bleed over. Yeah, what of course it didn't. Is it the sixth of the what your responsibility is in front of the crime taking care of it? Obviously I don't. Okay. Thank you. I want to leave. That's fine. I have, I'm going to get pneumonia. Okay. Have me the fucking ticket. So until you get a helmet, you are not allowed to drive this thing, just so you know. I have to get home. I got that. You 
chose to drive tonight or ride this tonight without a helmet. Thank you. So, I'm telling you right now. Okay, you already gave me a ticket for it. Goodbye. You're not welcome okay, to drive bye. this. Okay, bye. You're going to go to jail if you continue driving. I have no way to drive. Those cops are absolutely disgusting psychopaths with zero capability for empathy. Those cops weren't concerned for anyone's safety. So when she parks this, go put her in handcuffs. She is under arrest. And these night crawlers were not done yet. They chased her down and arrested her for unlawful reasons. She was charged for attempting to elude police, interfering with a peace officer, and disorderly conduct. The law firm representing the woman, Johnston Injury Law, said Jennifer Gaiman's civil lawsuit against the city of Brookings has ended in a reversal of Gaiman's felony conviction in June 2021. The city has agreed to pay Ms. Gaiman $300,000 for damages, issue a public apology, and require law enforcement to receive Americans with Disabilities Act training. Yet another example of how evil cops bag themselves a lawsuit because of their egos. But these next cops were so dumb, they thought they could bully lawyers and get away with it. We have not, we have not broken the law. So if you're arresting us, on February 23, 2017, two Birmingham attorneys, Garcia and Revel, were arrested by the DA in Blount County. Things escalated when the lawyers refused to consent to a search without a warrant. Uh, I'm from the Sheriff's Office. Uh, Sheriff Garcia, 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 Sheriff Okay. Your vehicle is also part of this circuit. Okay. So I'm going to have to ask you, do you have the keys to your automobile? Yes, sir. I need the keys to your automobile right now. Okay. Let me pat you down, make sure you don't have any other weapon. Just for your safety and ours. Okay. So he has given the phone that's on his person. Okay, I have video of him handing the phone to you, you handing the phone to her, it's okay. in the satchel right now. No, you all do have that, but that is not on, when you all- No, I'm not here to pour house with Brian on the That was not on his person. Okay. So you all are not entitled to that. Okay. All right. Well, I right, can. We'll go the other route to get that other phone. Okay, we're standing here and we, we have it on video that he handed his um, cell phone to his attorney. Uh, one and they handed it to another and it's in the satchel that is right here. Well, are we being detained? At this moment in time. They're not denying it. We have I'm it on video. I'm going to detain you until we determine the next course of action. Give me well, just a minute. Well, I have this okay. person and vehicle. They still screwed themselves. Even if they get that phone, anything on it will be inadmissible in court due to getting it through improper means. Okay. Um, okay. We either need the phone out of the satchel or we will have to detain you and get a search warrant to get the phone. So you're going to, well, okay. Uh, well, we're not going to give you, his, we're not going to give you anything that's on our person that you don't have a, a, a right to. So if you detain us, you're going to, you got there, you, you have to have, you know, certain, there's certain constitutional safeguards to do that. But you're going to detain us, then hey. We're not going to run, so... You both are under arrest for obstructing government operations. Obstructing government operations. That's correct. This is definitely an unlawful arrest, but we're under arrest, we're under arrest. Okay. Yeah, we're under arrest. I'm not going to go for it. Sir, if you would uh, turn around with we have not, We have not broken the law. So if you're arresting us, um. okay. I'm going to arrest you. I'm being arrested for obstructing government operations. That's correct. Let me take off this, this right here. Uh, if you don't mind, take them off. That way you'll be able to do it.
Okay. Yeah, no doubt you're going to The humble tone of Revel radiated when he realized that these idiots were actually going to go through with doing something profoundly stupid. I called over here to, they wanted a video of them doing a search warrant. Because they said they were going to run a search warrant on the car over there and they don't have any video. They wanted me to video and I was like, okay. They get them coming out of here. Uh, they've got video surveillance of uh, them giving or this guy, they run a search on him for his, his cell phones and his car to retrieve the cell phones. He gives his cell phone to the female attorney to put it in her bag. They come out of here, they turn around about the search warrant and like that, and said, hey, we need that phone that's out of that bag up there, and the lawyers have refused to give it up. So Sue placed both the lawyers under arrest for obstruction. She got a search warrant for that bag? Well, she obstructed it. Where's that at? Reville knew exactly how this would end. He knew the DA screwed up. This was why he didn't care about being arrested. The judge granted a motion for acquittal. Reville was vindicated and says he plans to go after District Attorney Pamela Casey and others. It's been an emotional roller coaster. I've known since February 23rd, 2017, that I was innocent because I'm an attorney. This is what I do. I do this daily. I know the law on this, Revel said, and they are not done after arresting lawyers. Here's another attempt to make sleep a crime for the attorney general's daughter. No, yes. you are not getting me out of my car. Yes, ma'am, no, I am. You are not. Don't, don't resist me. No. On January 16th, 2017, the attorney general's daughter, Christy Landry, was sleeping in her car at a public park in Guntersville, Alabama. She was confronted by a deputy and was asked to hand over her ID. Things got heated when she refused to comply with the unlawful order. You're required to give me your ID when I ask for it, okay? Under Title 15. I'm Can you give me? My, I'm taking a nap because okay. it's, I'm off Do you of go work deal? right now. I would live you, in town. Okay. Would you? I'm like, on. I'm not. Ma'am, I'm here. talking. Would you like to give me your ID or go to jail? No. You don't want to give me your ID? I'm not going to give you my ID. Okay. Well, come on. Put your no, shoes on. No. Come on. No. Yes. You are not getting me out of my car. Yes, ma'am. No, I am. You are not. Don't, don't resist me. No. Why, why is he me. doing this? Listen to me. Are you, you going to break my elbow? You listen to me, okay? I've asked you for your ID. You've Would told me you no. you talk to me? I'm telling you told, who I am. It doesn't matter yes, what my card says. Okay. Give me your ID. Is this how y'all treat people? We have people? the right to identify you, okay? My, There's people been calling. Why have they been calling? Well. I've been here for... ...that you've been laying in this car for four hours. Four hours? Listen okay. to me. We ha we don't know anything until we get here, identify you, and see if everything's okay. This officer has asked for your identification. You're, you're supposed to... I'm sitting here. You're supposed to provide I'm not that. supposed to provide that because I'm oh. sitting in my property. Okay. You're on city property. Okay, yeah, I am on. a part of the city so too. Ma'am, why are you? You back? just woke yeah. me up. Yeah, right. What do you expect? We didn't know that you've been here asleep for four hours or four minutes I or four been. seconds. It doesn't matter. I was we listening to, to Sean Hannity for about fifteen minutes, then I went to sleep. Do you want I to give us an ID? Sleep. No, I don't. I don't want to give you my ID, and I have no other reason other than you are approaching me in a very rude manner while I am sleeping. Yeah. 
and now I'm going to be in a terrible mood. You do listen, not wake you, somebody listen, up you in You ask car. what you're doing illegal. In the state of Alabama, under Title 15 code, if we ask for who you are and ID, you have to give it to us. It's, uh, it's illegal? It's, yes. To it's not illegal give it to for me to snap in my car? Snap or sleep? You nap. No, that is not in illegal. In my car. Okay. Tell me what I've been doing that's wrong. You give me a reason. Okay. Right now, you've been asked for your identification. I don't want to give you my ID, okay? okay? Y'all are well, not. We have a right to detain you until well, you Well, I have a right to ask you what your name is. I've already told you that. What is it? Officer Young. We got our Officer Department. Young and Mr. Ford. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what was said. Y'all get back up. Y'all all come. 16 to 21. Under Alabama law, they may only demand a name and address, not an ID. My name is Christy. Okay, Christy, I'm Lieutenant Case. Okay. Here's the deal. We've got a call on you, okay? I don't know how they do things in the state of Louisiana. I when I'm sleeping. Listen, okay, we if you're sleeping in the parks, we have a city ordinance against them. So here's what I'm telling you, okay? We're gonna ask we're gonna ID who you are. If you fail to ID who you are, we're gonna place we're gonna place you under arrest, okay? So, I mean, that's just as simple as it comes, okay? I'm being real polite to you. You haven't been unpolite to me. I'm just telling you, we've got to call who you own, own your welfare check, okay? We have a, a city ordinance against loitering in the parks. If you're sleeping in your vehicle in the parks, it's loitering. It's a city ordinance. We have a right to issue a citation for that, all right? Like I said, you may be from Louisiana. Laws may be different, but right now you're going to Alabama. If somebody walked up to me and okay. that through the Okay, you're, you're about to be booked under Jane Doe, okay? Oh, he's going, he wants to book me before I find anything else out. <laughs> so it's your options. There's no there's no uh, if, ands, or buts. Either provide ID, give us your name and birthday. What, what don't you understand? No, ma'am, you don't. You're investigating. Right, this is part of our I'm not giving them a with you. you. I not, still have a little bit of time before I have to go home. No, ma'am. You're about, okay, here's what's, trying, about, here's, okay. This. here's what's about to happen. You're about to be placed under arrest. Your car's going to be impounded. You're going to be booked under Jane Doe. We're going to send your fingerprints off to the FBI. It could take 30, 60, 90 days to come back. You'll be in jail in no bond until then. So it's your option, man. Like I said, I've been real polite to you. That's all I'm asking is for you. Your ID or your name date of birth. Nothing on you, then we're gonna, we'll leave. Whoever called 911 should have knocked on her window, asked if she's okay, and everything would be fine. Instead, they called for police, who showed up and predictably turned a simple welfare check into a violent arrest. I did listen to you, ma'am. I did listen to you, ma'am, and I've explained. He took me by the arm, Mr. Ford. You're lucky. You're lucky you're already under arrest, ma'am. Why would I be under arrest? For obstruction of governmental operations. Obstruction? Y'all bothered me. No, ma'am. We responded to a call out here. From here on out, I need to be able. Okay. I need to be able to sleep in my car okay. when you're, I need to. You're also going to be trespassed from all Gunnersville City Parks today, okay? Y'all are, you guys. No, ma'am. Are pushing it. No, ma'am, I'm not. I have a right to trespass anybody from our city park. Why are you going to trespass me? Because, I'm in my car. Uh, well, doesn't matter. I have a right to do that. Just because like if you had a business. I'm spite. I'm no, spite. Aren't you on? She ended up giving out her ID due to the continued threat of getting arrested. Do you have anything else for her or anything? She just needs to leave. Okay. You need to leave the parks and not return, okay? If you return back, you'll be placed under arrest for more trespassing. What are you talking about? You're being trespassed from all the national city parks. Right. Yes, ma'am, you are. Give me that in writing. I don't Give have to, ma'am. It's on video. Give me that in writing. Have a good day, ma'am. You've been told. Please leave. What is your name again? It's Lieutenant Case. Please leave, or you're going to be placed under arrest. No. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Case. Lieutenant Case? Leave, or you're going to be placed under arrest, ma'am. So leave the are, parks. Y'all are just upset now. I'm not upset by anything, ma'am. Lieutenant Case. You're lucky you're not already going. I tell you what, y'all want to go ahead and just take her for the obstruction anyway? Yeah. Consequently, she was arrested for multiple offenses, including obstruction of justice and criminal trespass. All charges were eventually dropped. Mrs. Landry received an undisclosed cash settlement, and two of the three officers on the scene apologized. One officer was not with the department at this time. Her record was expunged as well. And there you have it, guys. Do you think the cops in the last case should face severe repercussions for what they did? Let us know in the comments below. As always, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.